The tech and tools in my everyday carry have improved my focus, made me healthier, mean I have a productive desk setup wherever I am, and also mean I look and feel like I have my shit together. Plus, towards the end of the video, I'll be sharing some of the cheapest but most prized tools that I take literally everywhere. So let's dive straight in. And I'm gonna start with the stuff that I keep in my pockets every single day. First up, of course, it's got to be the iPhone 14 Pro. Now, despite having made the switch over to Windows for my laptop, I am an Apple faithful when it comes to phones. The camera, I think, is the biggest thing I love about the iPhone 14 Pro. I had an 11 before this, and I generally didn't find that the quality of the video was good enough to include in these videos versus my pretty amazing 4K camera. Now, though, I actually filmed a significant portion, for example, of the Harvard Day in the Life video on my iPhone 14 to be way more discreet, and I don't think it was that noticeable when I switched between footage on my camera and footage on my phone. And I always took thumbnails on my camera, so that has been a huge game changer for me when I'm taking a thumbnail in the office, for example, way more discreet doing it on my phone. Now, I have a whole video on my iPhone 14 Pro setup, so you should go watch that, but just a few highlights. Number one has been putting all of my apps into folders by category. So that means, for example, when my mind's like, oh, kind of drifting off, I'm going to go on Instagram, and I have to go into a social folder click on Instagram and it just creates that little bit extra friction. In terms of my most used apps, we're definitely talking Trello, Endel for getting into focus mode when I'm at the office and there's background noise, and also the Done app for tracking my daily habits. And then coupling the iPhone 14 Pro and protecting it with a Pataka Mag EZ in the UK, easy in American, three case, super lightweight, super durable. I've been really impressed by these. I've had this for well over a year now and still on the same case. It has got a little bit of damage here from where I regularly drop my phone. And also have the Armorite screen protectors. These come in packs of two or three. I've been through about five of them so far regularly drop my phone, but again, an absolute lifesaver for when you do ultimately drop your phone and need something to shatter instead of your screen. Okay, next item is the extra key case. The thing I absolutely love about it is that it avoids your keys scratching your phone screen. So I have my work phone and my iPhone 14 Pro. Extremely annoying when your keys are loose in your pocket and you end up kind of taking your phone out and it scrapes against one of your keys and completely ruins your screen protector or your phone screen. They are quite expensive, but I think it is probably worth it if you want something nice and compact to keep your keys in. And it keeps them nice and secure in there rather than rattling around when I'm running. Okay, next up we have the AirPods first generation. And I've had these pretty much since the AirPods Pro first came out. And I absolutely love these guys. So first of all, if you don't mind in-ear earbuds, I know some people don't like them. These are absolutely worth it over the traditional AirPods because especially if you're in London or a big city. Uh, there is so much background noise. Like when we're on the tube and Beth and I both watch something on our phones and you can share audio to two pairs of AirPods and she has the normal AirPods and I have the in-ear pros. And honestly, I can hear everything that's going on because the noise cancellation is so good. Beth can kind of barely hear a thing because it's so noisy on the tube. So yeah, I really do think that the noise cancellation on these, whether it's just out and about or you're in the office and other people are on calls and you want to block that out, they're really discreet to have on. Put on Endel or put on some music and you can really get into the zone. Plus, just generally, if you're watching Netflix or listening to music, the audio quality is absolutely superb. So yeah, 100% recommend the AirPods Pro, and I would quite like to try out the second generation, see if you can tell the difference. But to be honest, I'm quite happy with these, and they are quite expensive, so haven't yet upgraded. Okay, so last thing that is always in my pocket is the extra aluminium card holder with this cool kind of flick up. You press the button and your cards pop out the top and you can easily get one. You can fit five cards in the card holder, which nowadays with Apple Pay is enough for me. I have my driving license, my work pass, and then three cards in there. And that is plenty, super sleek. I love this astral color. This is new. I used to have the green one and they got quite scratched up is the only thing I would say about this. Like if you have it in your pocket with your keys, well, if you now have an extra key holder, less of an issue but I absolutely love this. So light, so easy to carry around. All right, so that was the contents of my pockets. Let's now move on to what I take around in my backpack. And I'm going to start off with hydration because we all know that actually you get a good night's sleep, you then do some exercise, and staying hydrated is probably the third fundamental pillar of productivity. And my water bottle is the Lark Swig Top water bottle in eucalyptus green. So I've had quite a few different like reusable water bottles, all of which inevitably seem to be leaky, or they have one of the screw shops that you have to fully screw off in order to drink. This though actually has a swig top so you can just quickly 
drink from it, but doesn't leak, which honestly, you'd be amazed at how difficult it is to find a water bottle that does those two basic things. I've also had bottles in the past that claim to keep things cold for 24 hours, and then within four hours of being in the sun, your drink is lukewarm. So Lark are sponsoring this video, but this is legit the best bottle I've ever owned. I have the 23 ounce, which is 680 milliliter version, but there's also a 34 ounce or one liter version. I like the compact size of this one. And alongside the fact this acts actually keeps your drink cold for 24 hours. I think my favorite thing about this is that it has the sip top that you can just quickly flick open rather than having to unscrew every time in order to have a drink and then close and then confidently put it back in your bag knowing that it's not gonna leak over all of your stuff. The sip top bottle part of the water bottle is just really nicely shaped. It feels very satisfying to sip from. It also has this really wide opening at the top so you can easily fit ice in there rather than having that experience that we've all surely had of like having a water bottle that has like that bigger top and your ice is like just too big and you're kind of jamming it into the bottle and that happens with the lark it has this really nice premium quality handle that genuinely feels sturdy uh, the whole thing feels well built and it's really lightweight so it doesn't add too much in terms of weight to your overall carry so yeah, Lark have some awesome Black Friday discounts on right now with up to 30% off at livelark.com so go and get yourself your own lark bottle and join me in Sipping, staying hydrated, and generally loving your new Lark bottle. So yeah, the Lark slips very nicely into my backpack then, which is, of course, a Menos backpack. And now, very excitingly, it is the Menos Backpack Ocean Edition. So, first off, I wanna say, Team Grey, I do still love you. This has been my backpack every day for the last three years since Beth and I first got the prototype of the first Menos backpack. I still love my grey backpack, but given we have now launched this beautiful navy blue colour, I kind of need to promote that a little bit. <laughs> and so I'm going to be wearing the navy out and about for at least the foreseeable future, but I reckon I'm probably going to use both. So I have both colours and can use one, for example, for work on a daily basis and the other as my weekend travel bag. So Beth and I created Menos because we wanted to create a brand that was for people like us, for ambitious professionals and entrepreneurs. So the bag is itself made from 15 recycled plastic bottles, has all the stuff you would expect from a commuter backpack. It looks stunningly minimalist, has a laptop sleeve, charging port, as well as a pretty unique 180 degree opening design that means you can easily load it up with all of your things for a weekend away, close it and you're on your way. This avoids the need that you have with top loaders, which is basically most commuter backpacks, where you rummage through from the top trying to find what's at the bottom. The Menos you can open up the whole way around and easily find anything that's in there. And really importantly for us, the Menos is also for people who want to wear something that says, I care about the planet. So with every Menos sold, we collect 100 plastic bottles. We also plant a tree. And with the Menos Ocean edition, we now will be donating to the Marine Conservation Society as well. So yeah, I'm also giving viewers of my channel because I love you guys, an exclusive 10% discount code. So you can get that through the link in the description and you can get your gray, black, or Ocean Edition Menos now. And the backpacks are also available on Amazon Prime in the UK. Okay, then next item to go in my backpack is this bad boy. It is the Asus ZenBook 14X OLED and First thing you gotta say is the screen quality on this is absolutely insane. Love it, I also love having a touch screen. I think overall it is a touch heavier than previous laptops that I've had, but I've been really, really impressed with the overall build quality feel. It is by far the nicest Windows laptop I've ever had. And controversially, I arguably prefer this to my old MacBook. I think actually this is more powerful, more reliable, and yeah. I could be a full-time Windows convert, still using my Mac for some stuff, but actually this has become my day-to-day -day laptop of choice. I think my one big takeaway on this for anyone considering upgrading their laptop would be, I think it's tempting to scrimp on power. So to go for an eight gigabyte RAM versus a 16 or a 32, this version that I'm using has 32 gigabytes of RAM and also has one terabyte of SSD storage. I think those two things just mean that it is insanely powerful, insanely fast. I would 100% recommend in investing just that little bit more to get that more power. So wherever I go, I'll always put my laptop in my Manos and I also take a portable monitor. So this is the Asus MB16QHG. 
Screen quality is absolutely amazing. I love that it has this built-in kickstand. Other screens come with this cover, which you can use as a stand, but that means you can't adjust the angle that you're viewing them from. Really goes nicely alongside my Asus laptop. The only downside of this is that it is pretty expensive. It just depends where your budget lies in terms of premium to more budget options. Okay, moving away from tech, and we now have the Molden A5 Filofax. Look, <laughs> it's old school. People at the office even laugh at me. Like, I had a partner who's like 50 years old come and laugh at me about the fact I was still using an old school Filofax the other day. But I personally just love having a week spread, making physical to-do lists in that day by day, moving things around in my to-do list if I don't do it one day, moving it over to another day, and manually getting to cross stuff off when it's done. So yeah, it is pretty old school, but I love this thing. My mum got it for me for my 21st birthday. It also has my initials embossed on it here, which is kind of cool. It's a personal decision whether you like to use physical to-do lists or electronic ones but if you do like physical to-do lists having them in a calendar format where you can plan each day time block at times I think is really helpful okay having said I love old school next up is the remarkable two and this I think really nicely combines kind of the old in physical note taking with the new in terms of making that process digital I've been using this for probably six months now it always goes with me in my menos so I really love the physicality of handwriting notes so if I'm thinking of an idea for a YouTube channel I'll often just sit and kind of doodle different ideas Ideas, different title ideas and I think the Remarkable is perfect for that and then syncs effortlessly across all my different devices. I can easily make sure that things are well organized rather than having like page of random notes of law stuff and page of random notes of Menos and then YouTube channel. It's all kind of nicely organized and in different folders and all with me in this one sleek and very lightweight tablet. That said, when I'm going to my actual day job as a corporate lawyer, I also take with me a physical notebook, my refillable pencil and four-way biro, which I absolutely love. I take these because I'm not allowed to use cloud-based technology that hasn't been approved by the firm in order to make notes, so I have to make notes on these when I'm at work as a corporate lawyer. Okay, next item in my backpack is the Bose Quiet Comfort 45 headphones. Now, obviously I have my noise cancelling AirPods, but for when those are out of charge or if something is particularly loud and I really want to be immersed in the audio experience, the Bose headphones are, I gotta say, like better in terms of noise cancellation and overall sound quality, I think, than the AirPods, just inevitably because of their size and the fact that they completely muffle your ears. So yeah, I've had these Bose headphones for five years now. I've had to replace the earmuffs on them twice from over use. The only reason I prefer the AirPods on a day-to-day -day basis is that when I'm in the office, having AirPods in, discreet, looks like I'm kind of on a call when actually I'm trying to block out all of the noise around me. Having massive Bose noise cancelling headphones on is slightly less sociable and just, I think, looks a little bit ruder when you're in an office environment. Okay, now onto keyboard and mouse. And my everyday carry keyboard is the MX Keys from Logitech. Absolutely love this keyboard. The ability to connect it to three different devices, just press a button and it switches between my Mac, my laptop, my work laptop is absolutely epic. I love the typing action, so have literally no intention of ever using another keyboard. That said, it is quite a big keyboard, so if I'm just going for a weekend away, but I'm worried that I might, for example, have to do some law work. I take this guy with me instead, which is the Logitech K380. Fortunately for me, I picked this up when I was doing Beth's budget desk setup. She decided she didn't like this because of the round buttons. I actually think they're quite cool. And this is so light and easy to take with me if I'm traveling. So yeah, this is my new travel keyboard for whenever I'm going away. I think I might have to do some work and I take my laptop, my portable monitor, this and my portable mouse. Okay, so full-time mouse MX Master 3. Again, huge fan of this, I've spoken about it before. I love the feeling in your hands. I love the ability to scroll through thousands of lines so quickly, which makes my job so much easier at work. Again, the ability to connect it to three devices, really effortlessly switch between them. I also absolutely love this side button you have. Allows you to see all of your windows at once, just at the touch of a button, select a different window, select a different item that you have open within your windows. But I then also have the smaller and much cheaper Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse that I take with me along with my K380 keyboard. All right, then final bits of tech that go into my everyday carry are my power banks. This guy, the Easy Longer 26,800 milliamp, 100 watt charger. I think 
pretty solid bit of kit. I haven't tried out that many, to be honest, so I wouldn't necessarily particularly recommend this one, but I would recommend having a bigger power bank that you take with you when you're traveling, particularly because I think being able to charge your laptop when you might not be able to find a charger in an airport, you can't be bothered to go and sit over on the uncomfortable seats where the charging port is. Actually having this for about one charge of a laptop, meaning your laptop can last for rather than six hours, like 12 hours, is really, really valuable. Also, obviously, you can charge your phones from it. And then also have this way smaller 10,000 milliamp power bank that just stays in my Menos in the charging port, ready to charge my phone when I'm on the go. Must confess, it was a freely through work, so I can't leave you a link in the description or even tell you where I got it from, so I got it for free. All right, so last section of the video, I'm just going to share some travel essentials. And the first one is the Alaska Bear eye mask. For those of you who are light sensitive like me, this guy feels good, really kind of silky soft, pretty reasonable price. My eye mask for the last like seven years. Absolutely love this guy. Okay, but then for those of you who are kind of like me, a little bit extra, um, we have the Manta Sleep eye mask. And this guy, <laughs> effectively has like Bose noise cancelling headphone style like cups but for your eyes. Legit I think if you are someone who struggles with light waking you up, if I'm on a plane I always wear this or if for example I went camping I'd probably opt for this over my Alaska bear eye mask just because if the Alaska bear slips off I'm totally exposed to the light and that is definitely going to wake me up. Whereas this is kind of relatively more secure and blocks out more light but it is slightly less comfortable to wear and more expensive. So yeah, that's my two-part eye mask every day carry. And if that wasn't extra enough for you, I also take these guys with me, the 3M earplugs. I think they're technically supposed to be used like if you're working in a high noise environment, like shooting guns or <laughs> doing like heavy tools. I use them just to sleep in uh, if I'm on planes, block out like background noise. You can kind of sleep on them way more comfortably than you can on AirPods, for example, which is why I often opt for these. A good option to have with you if you're traveling and you struggle to sleep when there's noise around you. Penultimate travel item, this guy, the AeroPress. Uh, I take this with me pretty much wherever I go traveling because I'm a big coffee guy and it allows me to buy ground coffee wherever I am, which you can usually find a decent quality of, put it straight through, it's really easy to use, really easy to clean and produces fantastic quality, non-bitter coffee. I couldn't tell you how it works, something to do with pressure, but makes great coffee, so would very much recommend, and it's not super expensive. It's also fully manual, like it doesn't require any electric or battery, so you can literally use it anywhere. And finally, when I'm traveling, I obviously often take my camera with me, and to do that, I take this. This is the Earth camera insert. Uh, this fits actually perfectly in my Menos backpack, and it's probably something we should invest in as a future product for the Menos, but for now, this is a pretty great product. It is pretty expensive for what it is, I think, but it does allow me when I'm traveling to have like my big suitcase, for example, example, my Menos then doubles up effectively as a camera backpack rather than having to have a whole separate backpack for my camera. So yeah, those were mostly the items that I take with me every day in my pockets and in my Menos, and then some extra items that I take with me whenever I'm traveling anywhere. Please do let me know down in the comments what you thought of my everyday carry, what your favorite everyday carry item is so that I can then steal it from you and include it in my next video next year. No, but seriously, any recommendations to improve my everyday carry, very much appreciated. And I really would be grateful if you could give this video a like if you're still here and have enjoyed it. I look forward to speaking again very, very soon.